What's going on guys, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I want to bring a warning about the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak created by um, Brendo and posted on GitHub. Actually we discussed about this when it was released on um, March 10 or March 9th and we discussed about the fact that this thing was fake and I have analyzed in this video the uh, the entire jailbreak and I told you that it simply copies the Yalu dark but he back it up and apparently he uploaded a day ago another IPA in which he is now actually including a bootstrap.tar including Cydia and so on so I just wanted to test this out because a lot of you told me that it was updated and um, a lot of you asked me if I can uh, check out the newest version to see if it's safe to install or not and he provides an IPA which is something bad because if he provides the IPA a lot of people will go ahead and simply try that no matter what it is no matter if it's malware no matter if it's fake no matter if it's something that will destroy their devices they, they will just go ahead and blindly trust the IPA so that's something bad if you didn't see this video in which I um, an analyzed this uh, jailbreak of sorts then then you can go ahead and watch it is in the description down below you're going to understand better what's going on with Brando's chill break and I'm going to, I'm going to also link another video in which I analyzed this before he even released it so you're going to understand better but we have here the IPA and before you trust this and before you install any of Brando's IPAs let me show you what it contains and let's see if it's safe to use or not so I'm going to make it a zip file to start analyzing it now this is the latest version of his IPA published a day ago, so uh, we're on uh, 14, March of uh, 14. So uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how much he copied Yalu or something. Well opening the file results in a payload and I'm going to go in here. And you can see he actually copied parts of the Yalu I guess, tar, reload, pkj, info, uh, launch ctl and so on. And also the bootstrap.tar uh, file. Now I have an idea. I have the original Yalu in here. And I'm going to see if it's the same file from the Yalu. So I'm going to make Yalu a zip. And I'm going to extract it. Using the terminal we're going to check the hashes of both of the files. So I'm going to first check the hash of the original file from Yalu. To see if there are any modifications to the file. Right. So I'm going to... SHA sum and I'm going to take this file it will hash it and the result is in here this is the hash of the original file let's see the hash of Brando's file and as you can see it's pretty much the goddamn same file on two different jailbreaks so it's pretty much literally fake you're going to see later and also we have device support we discussed about this file and this jailbreak.m um, that shouldn't even be in here in those uh, age files now this 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 and this should not even exist in a an IPA because these are part of a source code and when when you compile that source code these files that I marked become part of the executable file which is this one in here they get combined into the binary and create a binary together they are not simply scattered all across this thing imagine if this would happen with a real IPA from Facebook or from YouTube, everybody would be able to see their source code because if you open this jailbreak.m file, you're going to see that it's literally just the source code, part of the Yalu, of course, which is not going to happen in an IPA. Never. You need to do serious reverse engineering to get uh, to get code out of that IPA and you will never be able to get the code exactly in Objective C or in C format as you get from Brando's jailbreak. So is this safe? Of course it is not. You can see it only contains parts of Yalu and it makes it of course to be unsafe because as he copied parts of the Yalu he can also um, add some malware or things related. Now in this uh, in this release he said it's compatible with iPhone 4S. Those of you with iPhone 4S, 5 and so on do not try this IPA. Um, for the moment I can only see, uh, I have tried to disassemble it and I can only see it uh, only starts the alert so there's nothing going on but it can easily be tweaked into into being yalu actually with some malwares so 
try not to, to use that IPA, it's still fake, no matter how much time he updates it, it will remain fake, so uh, definitely do not try to install that jailbreak unless you want to have serious problems on your device. If you want to learn more about this, go ahead and watch this video, I explain very well in this video what you need to do and how to treat this brand of jailbreak. Until the next time, stay safe, I'm Geosnow and peace out!